Hello everyone, welcome back to Reformers Bookshop. My name is Sarah and it's time for another Storytime with Sarah. I'm really excited about this book this week. It's a little bit different to some of the ones we've been doing recently. It's all about a person. It's a biographical book. It tells a story from their life. It's called What's in the Parcel. Mm, sounds mysterious. It's about Helen Rosevy. It's written by Catherine McKenzie, illustrated by Rita Amasari, and published by Christian Focus. And it's a book that's all about God answering prayer. Can you think of a time that maybe you prayed and God answered that prayer? Well, this is a story just about that sort of situation. All right, are you ready? Let's dig in. What's in the parcel? In the little church, Christmas carols were being sung and a sense of excitement was in the air. The snow was falling outside. Helen shivered a little and cuddled up to her mother. Winter was cold in England, but her heart felt warm as she thought about the Christmas stockings and parcels that would soon be in their living room along with the brand new baby sister that had just been born. As she knelt in the quiet little church, Helen heard the words, Christ died for you. Many years later, Helen realized that these words were true. Jesus Christ had died for her. Her sins were forgiven. After she finished her medical studies at university, she knew that she wanted to go to Africa. There wasn't any snow there. Not many people knew about Christmas. Very few had ever heard of Jesus. It would be hard work, but she knew that God would help her. She could trust in him for anything. Wow, that's a long way to go, all the way to Africa. Mm, I wonder what will happen there. Late one night in the African hospital, Helen could hear a little girl sobbing and a newborn baby crying. A young mother had just died. The hospital would have to look after the children now, but there was no electricity and the night was getting very cold. <sighs> have you ever been cold at night, shivering? Helen knew that it would be difficult to keep the baby alive. She sent for a hot water bottle. They must keep the baby warm. Look at her there holding this tiny newborn baby who doesn't have a mum anymore to hold it and keep it warm. How's it going to stay warm? Well, they sent for a hot water bottle, but the la last hot water bottle had burst. What could they do? Helen couldn't buy another one. There weren't any shops. She couldn't phone to get one delivered. Their village was right in the middle of the jungle. So Helen did the best she could. She told a nurse, put the baby as near the fire as you can. Try and keep it away from the drafts. Your job is to keep the baby warm. So there you have the baby, it's all tucked away, right next to a big fire because otherwise it won't stay warm. But what happens if the fire goes out? Sounds like it's gonna be very tricky to keep the baby all warm. The following day, Helen went to visit the orphans and told them about the little girl and the baby. She explained about how difficult it was to keep the baby warm. We need a hot water bottle, she told the children. The, may, the baby might die if it gets chilled. There she is, chatting with all the, these orphans, telling them stories. Looks like she's brought her Bible as well. Just then, a 10-year-old girl named Ruth decided to pray to God about the problem. Please, God, she prayed, send us a hot water bottle. It'll be no good tomorrow, God. The baby will be dead, so please send it this afternoon. And while you're about it, would you please send a little dolly for the little girl so she'll know you really love her? Wow. What a great prayer. She's praying that there'll be a hot water bottle coming that afternoon, even though there are no shops. 
and that there would also be a dolly for the baby. Helen was astonished. Would God really answer this prayer? Could God, God could do everything, but would God really send them a hot water bottle and a doll just like that? Nobody would ever think of sending a hot water bottle to Africa, one of the hottest places in the world. Sounds pretty impossible. Halfway through the afternoon, a car arrived at Helen's front door. Helen went to see who it was, but by the time she got there, the car had gone. However, on the doorstep, there was a large parcel. That sounds exciting. Have you ever gotten a parcel before? Helen couldn't believe her eyes. Quickly, she sent for the orphanage children, and together they carefully opened the parcel. What do you think is going to be inside? See, there they are, in amidst the trees in the middle of nowhere. All the orphans here, they've all come to watch. What do you think is going to happen? Lots of little eyes focused on the large cardboard box. Helen pulled out some brightly knitted jerseys. Then there were bandages for patients. Next, a box of raisins. Helen put her hand in once again and stopped. Could it really be? Yes, it was. A brand new rubber hot water bottle. Helen had not asked, Helen had not asked God to send it. Ruth had. It was Ruth who rushed forward crying out, if God has sent the bottle, he must have sent the dolly too. Rummaging down to the bottom of the box, she pulled out a small, beautifully dressed dolly. Ruth's eyes shone. She had never doubted. Looking up at Helen, she asked, can I give this dolly to that little girl so she'll know that God really loves her? That parcel had been packed up by Helen's former Sunday school class, Sunday school class five months earlier. Ruth had prayed that afternoon and God had answered. Here's a verse from the Bible. This is God's, uh, God speaking in the Bible. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. You see, they're giving the doll. See, the baby is all warm now with a hot water bottle. Well, that's enough from me. I hope you enjoy this story and I hope that reminds you to always pray and always believe because God answers prayer. So that's enough from me. Until next time. See you then.